What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Sister the Glove, the bald head black anime nerd. And Isayama has motherfucking snapped on this chapter of Attack on Titan 122 from you a 2,000 fucking years ago. Oh my, like, nigga, this was a great fucking chapter. Like, great. And since One Piece did not deliver, this was the fucking fix that I needed from manga and anime this week. God damn it. Not only did we learn about the backstory of Ymir, the founding titan, we also got smacked in the face at the end with the fucking rumbling, bro. The rumbling, G. And it's almost felt like uh, Isayama was kind of like pushing through <laughs> like this chapter. I don't want to say he kind of brushed past a lot of important details of the Ymir backstory, but it really just felt kind of like I couldn't even believe it was ending, honestly. Uh, we start the chapter out finding out that Ymir was a slave. Um, she was a slave in the, Il in the Ildian community to the royal family of Fritz's. Uh, she ended up, you know, letting some pigs loose or some crazy shit like that and was on the run from the royal family, basically about to die. But she ran into a, a special tree, a magical fucking tree, which is crazy because all of the theories that were kind of floating around were that, you know, from what we saw, in the like in all the chapters where they explain the backstory and who the founding titan was it was always painted to us like she made a deal with the devil but no the fuck she did she basically fell into the base of a tree into some water and got a new spine when she got the new spine she became a titan so the bitch got a new spine and became a god so that's essentially what the fuck happened here so it's hilarious but i love that we got that way um once she became a titan she came back Fritz basically controlled her, saying, hey, I need you to kill these Marleans. That's your new mission. Uh, the Marleans tried to assassinate the king, ended up assassinating her. But by this time, she had three kids. The walls are named after her three kids. Uh, Rose, Maria, and Sheena are now <laughs> subject to eating her dead corpse, like, as humans. It's, all, it's crazy because we see motherfuckers get eaten by titans to become titans. Never seeing a human eat a tight like eat a person to become a titan. So that shit is fucking wild. And then from there, it kind of just went down the line of yes, uh, King Freeze is telling the, the kids, yes, this is what you're gonna have to do. When you have kids, your kids gonna have to eat you. When they have kids, they need to eat. And if motherfuckers don't have kids, then it just needs to go to a random kid. And it just showed that he was always in control, he being the royal family, always in control of what the founding titan and her will and their will of all the titans did so that was basically an introduction to yes this is how we got all the different nine titans my homie chris shout out to chris um he suggested that perhaps the three kids the three daughters all had three kids apiece and that's how we get uh came up with nine titans they all had different powers obviously because it was all different types but it kind of stops there after that it was just pass on pass on pass on the theme of this entire part was very clear, and it was just basically that the royal family has been controlling Ymir all of her fucking life. She has never been free. And this is a theme that Eren basically bashes over her head once we come back to the very moment that the last chapter left off on, with Eren trying to stop her from euthanizing everyone, and Zeke trying to get her to euthanize everyone. Eren's basically in her ear, look, you ain't no fucking slave. Don't listen to this nigga. Like, he trash, bro. You have the power. You are free. You're a human fucking being. You decide what you want to do with your power. And you can destroy all this shit. And that's when we find out he wants to destroy the fucking world. So, <laughs> next thing you know, we cut back to the moment that Aaron's head fell into Zeke's hand. And we see a fucking spinal cord forming. As if it was like recreating him a body or some shit, similar to how when Zeke lost his body and she recreated a Ymir recreated a body for him. Seeing that recreation and then all the walls are shaking, it seems like time starting back up. Everything is as it was, but now everybody tweaking because the walls is breaking down. It looked like Gabby was gonna fucking die, but she didn't die. So what I'm hoping is in the next chapter, Isiyama, if you're paying attention to me, if you're listening, if you're watching. Please kill Gabby. Let one of them big ass wall titans just step on her ass. Like, I don't want Rubble to kill her. Let her get stepped on and for fucking God. Cause fuck Gabby. That's how the chapter ends and it's like, holy fuck, what happens now? Aaron, why did you want the world to be destroyed? You don't want Armin and Mikasa to die? You don't want that. You do not want them to die. 
So what the fuck? How is niggas gonna defeat all these titans? And it's just crazy because I've been saying for the last three or four reviews, this shit is really coming to an end. You can feel it. You can feel it by how how he rushed kind of through this. We didn't really get too much of an explanation about uh, an in-depth explanation about how the titans became differentiated. Um, anything like that. Like there was no devil. There was just a fucking spinal squid in a base of a tree like what the fuck what happened like he just kind of brushed past it just to get to this rumbling and i'm lit like <laughs> i'm fucking lit i'm lit i'm rolling i'm rolling i'm sorry i'm rolling like comment subscribe this is a fucking phenomenal chapter bro 10 out of 10 the last five chapters 10 chapters the last till i can fucking remember i've been 10 out of 10 there's another 10 out of 10 like comment subscribe fuck with your boy since i glove uh, follow me on Twitter at Sensei Lake Glove. Follow me on Instagram at Sensei Lake Glove. Uh, comment down below what you thought of the chapter, what you thought of my review. Uh, hit me up. Shit. We can talk about it because all oh, this shit lit, bro. I love me some Attack on Titan, man. Um, I had to do this first before doing my uh, One Piece review. So we fucking lit, man. Uh, other than that, man, Sensei Lake Glove out.